Hi, this is a video to help attach the 24 hour heart monitor. Make sure you follow the instructions that go with the machine you're using. The instructions do vary a bit depending on the machine, so it's important you follow the ones that you're provided with. My machine's an analog 7 lead monitor, so that's what you'll be seeing in this video. Each time you do a recording, you have to use a kit. The kit in front of you on the screen is an analog kit, so it's got a tape. You need to prepare the contents, take the tabs off things, write the dog's details on the diary and on the tape and the date. Next thing, make sure the dog is shaved if you're going to go with the shaving option. Just strips to make room for the electrodes. Make sure they're in good contact with the skin. You need to make sure the, the skin is really clean and that means getting rid of the oils, the natural oils from the dog's skin. I use methylated spirits on a cotton pad and it seems to lift off the, the grease, any grease from the skin quite well. Very important though to make sure you dry it completely afterwards before you start attaching electrodes. For the particular machine that I use, this is what the packet with the electrodes looks like. And again, because my machine has seven leads, I've got seven electrodes. The other side of my electrodes has a dollop of gel on it. Some electrodes would look a little bit different. For the type of electrodes I have in my kit, I trim them. They're, they're way too big and it means there's a lot more sticky residue left on the dog. I also add a little bit of KY jelly or an ultrasound gel just to improve the conductivity. Now this is me attaching the electrodes to the dog. Need to press quite firmly without obviously hurting the dog. So again I'm just pressing the electrodes in here to make sure they stuck firmly. Here's the side that needs the four electrodes for my particular monitor. That side's now completed. Both sides are completed and now I'm starting to get organized with the recording. So I'm putting the tape in, I'm checking the instructions of how many leads and what colors to put on each side so that I can start to attach the wires correctly. So following the instructions I got from the manufacturer, I'm now attaching the leads in the order, the colors that the instructions tell me. So I've done one side, this is the second side being done now. You have to press quite firmly, make sure they click into the little metal button on the electrodes that stuck to the skin. So that's the second side done. That's the side that on my machine needs three electrodes. They're now firmly attached. And now I usually put on a bit of tape on top of the electrodes just to help secure them to make sure that any tension on the wires doesn't pull, on, pull them off. I use a hypoallergenic sports tape that I got from a pharmacy. It's got little holes in it so that there's still air getting through to the skin, but it sticks quite well and just keeps the electrodes nicely in place. So I usually make sure that the whole area of the electrodes um, is firmly taped over in this way on both sides. So that's what you hope it will look like at this point. The electrodes are now firmly stuck down. Now all ready to start the actual recording because the electrodes are attached and secure. So it's a matter of, for my machine, now at this point I put the battery in so that now the recording started. So then I need to record the time that I start and I just note that on the patient diary. Now I need to um, secure the recorder and the wires so I'm putting the cover on the recorder. Uh, not all machines come with these covers. I'm just securing the wires a bit to, to keep them a bit tidier, make it a bit easier to avoid them getting caught on anything. So I just use a bit of sports tape around the wires to keep them tidy. This is the vest going on. This is a vest that was um, made by Claire Perry. There are lots of different varieties available for sale. This is putting the vest on over the wires and attaching the vest. This is tidying up now. 
a little bit of wire sticking out from behind the waist, this, so it's just a matter of tucking it in. The finished product. Rosie's very comfortable and happy in her vest. The recorder's velcroed on top. For extra protection, I like to cover the exposed areas of the recorder with this uh, stretchy, thin, self-adhesive bandage, sometimes known as vet wrap. And I'm just putting it around the machine so that everything's covered. I also put some sports tape over the exposed wires. So this is hopefully the end result. A very happy and comfortable dog. And in 24 hours you will have the recording finished.